stampers and crafters and thanks for joining me today. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com and I am really excited to share with you today's project which was originally created for a blog hop that also launched today with some of my friends that I've gone on the Stampin' Up! incentive trip to Hawaii with this past spring. Let me just tell you something. These gals are so incredibly talented. You are not going to want to miss this blog hop. So after this video, pop on over to my blog at this URL or click on this YouTube video and go on tour and see all of these amazing ideas. You're going to flip. Our theme is the upcoming Stampin' Up! holiday catalog, which will be coming out September 1st, 2015. And I had a little help from my friend Veronica Zalis when designing a project. And we did a little throwback here to the sour cream container, which is a classic. The sour cream container is so easy and fun. You could make a ton of these for party favors, for your classroom, for your friends, your family. <laughs> and I'm gonna have a little 80s throwback in here as well. But the holiday catalog doesn't just cover Halloween, it covers fall, Thanksgiving, and Christmas and December holidays as well. So, I started branching out into Christmas ideas and just fell in love with this vellum that's in the catalog. It's a foil vellum. It's like a little teaser. You can kind of see the candy treats inside. So I'm going to show you real quick how to make the sour cream container and I'll show you a close up on these and more. Let's get started. So we have our pretty little basket of goodies of sour cream containers. I can't decide which one is my favorite, but I really, really love this holiday fancy foil vellum one that you can actually see the candy through. There's where there's candy in here. And I use the delicate ornament die on this one. But the red foil, that definitely ranks up there. This definitely is one of my favorites as well as our boo skull and crossbones. This I did with the Winter Wonderland vellum. This was actually a six by six. I didn't even have to cut it down. It was already perfect size. And the skull and crossbones and boo were done from the Howl H-O-W-L dash O dash ween treat with the coordinating booty framelit, which were made to cut out the Halloween pieces in that kit. And it's also got the fun spider web doily on it. All of these will be available September 1st. Unless you can't wait, then you can get them in a demonstrator kit on my Stamp with Tammy blog. Let me show you how to make the sour cream containers. All right, so this is the holidays fancy foil vellum here. It's a six by six sheet. These come in 12 by 12. I just cut it into quarters to make sour cream containers out of them. So six by six. And if you were to do a paper stack instead of a 12 by 12 sheet, Stampin' Up! sells these. This is the vellum paper stack. They're already cut to size. You don't even have to cut it down. So I've done adhesive. I'm not sure if you can see this, but there's adhesive on three sides of the back here. Either the Stampin' Up! Fast Fuse or the Tear and Tape adhesive. It has to be a strong one because you're going to put goodies in here and we don't want it to fall apart. So now the one side that does not have the adhesive on it, we're going to roll that up and tuck it underneath. So we get a little roll here, like a little tube. And then you're going to pinch two ends, but only do one first because you want to be able to fill it. Now here's where you guys are really doing me in here because <laughs> I bought some of my favorite candies to make these, which was a huge, huge mistake because I can't stop eating these bullseyes. <laughs> What's your favorite candy? And might I recommend you don't buy it. <laughs> so you put your goodies in here. Now I have adhesive on the top to close it. And I know right away the first question we're going to get on this is, do you have to tear it apart to eat the candy? So yes, you do. If you'd like to make these so that you don't have to rip it apart to open the candy, simply don't use adhesive, but maybe some ribbon to tie the top of it together. And that way you can just untie the ribbon and you will still have your cute little sour cream container when you're done. Or you just don't open it. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? A just simple, absolutely wonderful, and it's great as it is. And um, you know the 80s are coming back, right? So you're gonna have to dig out your old hair crimper. I have to dig into my tool shed of tools that I've saved, one of them being my hair crimper and the other one being the paper crimper, which has since been retired and this is optional. You don't need to do this part. I'm just gonna squeeze the two handles of my crimper and just do a couple little turns there and that gives it the crimped edge. So if you still have one of these crimpers handy, it is a cute little accent on your sour cream container, but it is optional. You don't need to do that part. And then all you need to do here is dress it up. So I'll bring my little basket back in here to show you a couple more. This was another one done with the same 
fancy foil in the holiday catalog that the stripes came from. This one was green, so I put Andy's candies in it. Again, another one of my favorites, so don't mind me while I eat my caramel bullseye while I'm telling you about the rest of this because, yeah, I have no self-control. Sorry. Mmm, good. Okay, I promise not to talk with my mouth full, but it was so good. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to gain five pounds making these. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll be worth it because they're so stinking cute, right? These three were designed by my friend Veronica Zalas. Huge shout out to Veronica. Those of you who subscribe to my blog know that Veronica is amazing and she shares some fantastic designs. The sour cream containers were actually, these were her idea. She did the Happy Haunting Designer series paper that's new in the holiday catalog and for these she used the Sweet Hauntings because we're always looking for ideas for Halloween for candy, for Halloween parties and the grandkids and the kids and the grandparents. <laughs> and this with the spider web doilies. Again, you can get all of these on my blog starting September 1st. They'll be available in my online store. And you can just simply go to this URL or click in the link in the YouTube description below. So I hope you have as much fun making these as I did. Be sure to visit my blog for the holiday catalog blog hop with my friends and their amazing ideas. Thanks for joining me today.